Good afternoon, this is a video in response to Mr. Steve H Photos. So he asked, how do I use Google Analytics to use it? What, how do I make it valuable to me? Or how do you see uh, paid views and stuff, not paid views, referral? So this is my Socks the Sheltie account on Clickersnap. As you can see, this is over three months from the 1st of June to the 27th of August. And during that time, I've had 1,214 users. So that's people who obviously have used it. 1,207 new users, that means actually out of 1,214 people, seven people have looked at the images twice. 1,248 sessions is basically the same as users, but it's, it's not broken down per user. Number of sessions per user, so that breaks down as into how many people come to, how many times does the same person come back to the site? So these are people who literally just look at it and don't really come back, so they're not that interested in my contact content. 1,300 page views and 1.07 pages per session. And that means that when someone lands on one of Sox's photos, they don't tend to look at any more of the photos. Average session duration is seven seconds, so people are staying on the photos long enough to read the description and titles. Bounce rate is very high, which means that actually someone's coming in, looking at it, and then moving off. Um, however, I wouldn't necessarily take full account of that because bearing in mind the analytics that you're looking at is purely just on your section of Clickersnap. So it may not be people bouncing outside of Clickersnap, but they're leaving your profile to go to another one. Language obviously tells you where your audience is from. Um, so my biggest audience is Britain, 63% 800 users, followed by US. Now, how do you actually use this to determine uh, how your descriptions are doing though? Well, number one is this average session duration. That is really important because if it's less than five seconds, you're not getting paid views. The longer this number is, obviously you want to aim to get it above some five seconds so you can get a paid view. You also want this pages per session to go up. So if someone is enjoying your photos, then they're looking at one of your photos and then continuing to look through your photos. So your aim is to make that really high. I will compare this with Clickersnap's figures um, after if I can do it simply enough. So, but the next one is acquisition. So acquisition is how people come to and find Socrates, my dog. Interestingly enough, no one here is coming in and finding it organically. Now that's not really surprising because I don't put any descriptions in his content. So it's purely socks at the park or so on. So the automated marketing system is what's driving 99% of socks traffic. Direct is so people coming from Clickersnap itself is only 27 to 99%. Bounce rate's 99% doesn't actually break that down into numbers, but you can see there's a big difference. Social automatic marketing system is bringing in the vast majority of traffic, which is probably why it explains why the bounce rate's high, because people are just coming in, looking at that picture, and then going off. Direct is people who are looking at that picture from elsewhere on Clickersnap. So say I'm looking at Steve's profile, and then I move to Socks, then this is where this number comes up. What you should see with descriptions is you will have a third one down here, which will be your organic traffic. So your organic traffic is the traffic that is relating to the content and description that you have written on your videos. Some of you may have referral traffic. So if you also go and post your links around on photo forums and stuff like that, that will come under referral traffic. Uh, it's unlikely we will see any of that here. Well, you can only see it, it's coming from Facebook, as you can see. Most of it's mobile Facebook, which is good considering we've now fixed the mobile site, which may also explain why the bounce rate was so high, because they came in and it didn't work. Be interesting to know if that has changed since we updated it, actually. Um, No, it's not been running. Facebook briefly banned us for a while, so we've been sorting that out, which has been causing us a few problems. And Sox's Facebook page actually only has 15 users or something like that. Anyway, so that is how you determine 
what's going on with your traffic. Now, if you then go along and go, right, I need to go and type in loads of descriptions using that uh, trending um, Google Trends description that I, I did a previous video on, then you can then correlate times so you can compare this period to another period. Um, and that is relatively simply done under here. So if we pick 1st of August, the 1st of August, and then we want to compare that to the previous month, you can compare the two. Google Analytics is very, very, very powerful. And there are a lot of descriptions, a lot of videos out there on describing on how to use specific aspects of it. So I can't go into depth in every single one, but it will give you a good idea. Now, I'll just give you an idea of what uh, click snaps looks like. Uh, if it loads, so it's quite big numbers. Let's look at the last four days. So, the last four days we've had quite a few thousand users. <laughs> Um, right, so acquisition that's overview. So this is what you're kind of looking for, is a, a wide variety. So you can see social is a big driver of our traffic of a thousand users in the last four days. Direct is obviously people who are just looking for going to clickersnap.com. Organic search is the one that you want to keep an eye on for your um, um, descriptions and that is the one that will really tell you how well you're working. Um, it won't unfortunately tell you what you're being what is being searched for but you can see that um, all of these numbers relate to various different things. I mean Nessie Hunter is a big referral number so if you end up with getting a link to click a snap to your photo on click a snap um, and from a, a big forum or a forum, you will see those numbers under the referrals. Um, so you can see it all breaking down. So direct, obviously, clicksnap.com, m.facebook is mobile, Google Organics have 500 people coming in from your descriptions and stuff, well, actually 1,000 altogether. Um, Twitter, 400, 350 people, Google advertising, um, emails, Bing advertising, Facebook desktop, i.facebook is um, tablets and this website. So in four days, 5,148 people have viewed the site. Bounce rate is obviously exceptionally low for us, so 6.8%, which means that actually a vast amount of people who come, come and um, uh, browse the site. Now interestingly enough, you can see here m.facebook.com referrals bounce rates now 0.13 percent be interesting if we compared that to uh last month hang on what's going on here no i want this period here and then i want to compare to custom uh, to uh, i'll do five days Facebook, where are you? Why not Facebook? There we go. Bounce rate actually has not changed that much. Well, I mean, it has. It's gone down by a factor of 10, um, which is interesting. Anyway, point being is that use Google Auto Analytics. So look at your descriptions. You can find out which pages are the most visited. Um, go through all of your updates, you can check bounce rates, um, obviously what's going on in real time and so on and so on. So that, my friends, is how you use um, Google Analytics to determine whether your descriptions are good enough to get Google's organic traffic. As I said, if you're not seeing any organic down here or referral traffic, Referral traffic is obviously in bugs, but if you're not seeing organic down here, your pages aren't getting indexed and Google has no interest in doing it, which means the only traffic you'll get in is either through your own promotion, your own referral, or via ClickerSnap, uh, ClickerSnap's audience. Um, and this works for everything. If, if you have a website or something, if you're not getting organic traffic, then people aren't interested in it. Anyway, I hope that hope helps, and uh, if you have any more questions, please ask, and I will try and show you how to do it.